Hi, I'm Bowling Otter. And I'm Lizzie Sandwich. And welcome to The BS on the Internet. Well, it's been another one of those weeks. Has it been a crazy week? It's been an interesting week. It's been a stressful week. Yes. It's been like... I feel like we open with that, though, every time. No, but this was a week of, like, heavy This <laughs> started with this meeting. We can't, it like... is. It is. But it's like, um, there's... It was like an emotionally heavy week. We're going to be talking about some pretty heavy emotional topics this week. Yes. I hope we don't lose any of you. Yeah. Because, not totally, uh, not totally. No, there's some other no. stuff in here. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But there was, there's been a lot of talk in our house and a lot of like discussion about what's been going on, and you'll see what we're talking about. But yes. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Okay, but kicking things off isn't so emotional. No. Star emotional well, star. for some people. For some people, I suppose it is, <laughs> actually. Uh, so the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, uh, everyone's been worried about what Sonic the Hedgehog's going to look like ever since that teaser photo that came out. That yeah. had like that the, the leg silhouette. with the knees and everything yeah. like that oh, was like, right, right, right. and it looked like really kind of creepy. Yeah. Uh, and now we've got the actual picture of what his face is going to look like, which is the one on the left here. And a lot of people were like, what is wrong with this? What makes it so weird? And uh, some people, you know, figured it out. And you see on the right, there's a mock-up. Mostly it's the eyes, right? Yeah. Uh, but, um, and like, it's the proportions in general here. Like, look, uh, go back up a little bit. Okay. The, the arms, there's like a stripe on the arms in the redone version. The ears are oh. bigger. Uh, the gloves and the hands are bigger, uh, and then the um, and even the torso is kind of like thinner, and the nose is a little longer too. Yeah. So everything is like exaggerated a little bit wow, more. Wow! Wow! Yeah! Yeah! And if you go down, um, then somebody else said the body redesign too, which included the feet. And the legs are longer, the and the torso is shorter. Yeah. Um, but it's the got thing Nikes is, on. Yes, yeah, got a little Nikes on. <gasps> And I get it, and I agree. The one on the right looks way more like the Sonic we know and love, right? Yes. But if I remember correctly, I think this is supposed to be Sonic among real people, right? I think so. Like, is that shit a world with real people and Sonic right. Hedgehog inserted in there? So he has to be somewhere in the middle. Yeah, kind of. th that's what I think they've done here. I think they cartoon. tried to take what he looked like on the right and thought, like, okay, what can we change and massage a little bit to, like... Change your proportions just slightly so that he looks a little bit closer to human, right. so that it looks a little more convincing for a person to be standing in front of him talking. Yeah, you know, right? And like Rather he won't than look it completely looking like, like he's um, a part of a different cartoon like world, like Roger Rabbit or Space Jam yes. or something like yeah, that. Exactly, yeah, exactly. I see what you're saying. I the see difference what you're between saying. like a cartoon world and what it's he would look like in a belly. human world. Yeah. So I get why they did it, but it's weird. And then it makes me think: Did they have to do this? Did we need Sonic the Hedgehog to be in a real world? Because that kind of screws the whole thing up. Leave him in a cartoon world where he looks right. But <laughs> then know? it wouldn't be, I don't know if it would get as much attention. It, it probably would, wouldn't. It would but look I, like it was for kids. I feel like it's going to be a terrible like movie. Like, <laughs> I'm, I was looking at it assuming it's going to be bad. You think so? There's nothing about this to make me think like, wow, that Sonic the Hedgehog movie is going to be a real banger. Yeah. I mean, like, but it, it's probably going to sell like crazy, though. It'll probably get one star and sell out of the box office Maybe. for like three weeks while the kids go. Parents take their kids to see it. Yeah. Um, But I don't know. Or it's I, I people like us who grew up with him and are kind of... Yeah. You know, curious about it or whatever. But yeah, like the. I, I, but then, even just like the little stylistic changes, like, would it have killed them to do the tan arms? Yeah. Like yeah. something like that, or the nose, the, the shorter nose or whatever. Like, did he need to be completely reworked? Because yeah. there's a lot of people that they have to look, they feel like they have to look exactly like this makes what me, they're uh, used to. This makes me really wonder what the, like, reject designs were. Because you know they probably looked at a million of them, right? Yeah, maybe they looked like this. And they may have, done, yeah, there's probably some that looked, like, yeah. totally unaffected. They probably have some they went way too far. Yeah. And they're, they probably tried to strike a happy medium in their minds. Uh-huh. And I wonder if they focus grouped it and ended up with this. Yeah, yeah. So it's crazy if you, like, focus group and then put it on the internet and realize that your whole focus group apparently, like reacted completely differently I than know. anybody else did like because the internet trashed this they people did. legit changed it like, right away the I, first thing they wanted to do was they, change it yeah but then like it reminds me a little bit of like the will smith genie oh god like what do they do yeah. when they have like if the movie's done yeah or close to done and then they get this There's kind nothing of you like can do yeah and then they're like memed yeah and all of that and then they're like oh my god like there's gotta like there has to be like some kind of precedent in place 
at some point for when this kind of thing happens. You know? And Disney is like never... But dipping into old stuff anyway. Yeah. You know, like you've got to expect that to some degree, right? But these Disney franchises have always been gold. Every time they go to them, they do anything with them. They've been redoing the movies and they've been doing great. Everybody's been loving them. Yeah, yeah. So no, and Disney has got never got gotten this fans. kind of backlash and hate to the mm. point where you almost expect people to go watch it and hate it. Mm-hmm. That we're not used to that from Disney. That doesn't really no, happen. No, no, no. You know? But I still think pe- a lot of people will love it just because it's Disney. There's yeah. some people that just love everything Disney. Yeah, and uh, the people that like have fun you with know? it may not even hate it. Just like it's just yeah. like, well, this man looks silly and blue. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, yeah, but like yeah, yeah. it doesn't even mean it's going to be bad. Look this looks, I look at this though, and I think it's just going to be bad. Yeah. Like I, I can't envision this being good. I super hope I'm wrong. I he really do. Look as sassy. No, like he, the, the eyes, the exaggerated eyes give him that like more downturn, like, yeah. And on the left, he's just like, hi, I'm a hedgehog. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. a little bit even tempered and don't have a really strong feeling about anything. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of what he looks like. It doesn't say, I like speed. Yeah, it's just like, yeah. I am content. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. I like going at a medium speed. Yeah. I don't like going, I like going very fast. Maybe five over the speed yeah, limit. Yeah, maybe if that. <laughs> a little dairy, that. just a little bit. <laughs> oh, God. But you won't get pulled over, so it's okay. <laughs> That's, That's a good point. <laughs> I don't know. What What do you guys think about this? Do you think... Do you think that these movie studios that are that face this problem should go back and redo it and rework it according to a bunch of online chatter or just keep doing what you're doing? Because it is easy. I mean, a lot of not easy. It's not easy, really, at all to kind of dismiss the hate on the Internet. Oh, no, it's you not know, easy. Like they could, you, a lot of people go like, oh, well, you know, that's the Internet. It is what it is. It's a cesspool of crap. But, but it then, makes a difference and it but affects it makes outcomes. It, it does. It know? does. Yeah, for sure. So, I don't know. How do you think this should be handled? Social backlash is a new thing now. Oh, huge. Like, prior to social media. Yeah. What did you have? Like, those, like, at, like at the shore where you have, like, the little articles in the back, like, well, I didn't think they should put oh, that Walmart in the corner. Right, right, right. And, right. like, like, just, like, yeah. those little complaints that, like, the yeah. neighbor, and, and that's about as bad as it got. Unless yeah, yeah. there's people filling these streets with signs, right. which they had to get pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Now on mm-hmm. social media, it's like, you know what? It's only going to take me three seconds to complain about this. Boom. Yep. And then everybody yep. does it. And you it. can talk to the person directly who yes. is responsible you for it. You suck. Yeah. You know? yeah. And then like, yeah. And it's sort of retweets Scary. that. So then like you're just being assaulted. Yeah. And you can do the assaulting. Yeah. And it, it totally changes protests in a way that's like... I don't know. For me, it's kind of take, sucking the meaning out of it. I know. You know? I know. I'm with you. It's starting to just become you. like noise. Yeah. And th- but the noise still makes a difference. It does. And this is it one does. of those places. I wonder it if affects, it's going to uh, make a big difference here yeah. or if it's going to blow over by the time it comes well, out. Well, like, look what's happening now with Captain Marvel just coming. Yeah. Captain Marvel you know, just came out today at the um, day that we are filming, which is yeah, Friday. Right. And it is not the, getting a the good The critic reviews, reviews are good, but yeah. the fan, the audience reviews are Oh, way is it down. that situation? It's like that. You've got. People, okay. how, I, how I'm understanding is, is okay. that trolls are going online and saying that it's terrible. All I've seen, I haven't seen anything say anything positive about it at all. Really? On Twitter. I haven't even looked. I mean, yeah, I haven't it had, just it's, came it's out. just the stuff that's been popping up in my feed. Oh, right. Like right. the other people that I follow have liked and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It just keeps popping up, and all I keep seeing is like, or the people, some of the people that I follow saw it. Oh. And everyone said it was really boring and the story like really didn't go anywhere. No. Um, but apparently it has pretty big implications for the last Avengers movie. Okay. So there's that. So you it serves a purpose in yeah, that Yeah, so this serves a purpose. But it's a shame because those trailers looked awesome. Yeah. I was getting psyched. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, yeah. this could be really cool. And like, for sure. that's a shame that the, the, at least the initial reaction. Right. Now, sometimes that first day, right, we all remember Gritty. Oh my God. I don't want to those first 24 gritty. hours of Gritty, everybody hated him. And the next day it was freaking American Hero. Must we talk? We talk about Gritty every day. <laughs> well, I guess it's, it's going to work of a Gritty. Oh in my there. God, I know. I haven't got my bobblehead yet, so. I, gotta... I know we're still waiting on the bobblehead. I know it's terrible. And then take it to work or something because I don't want to see. Oh, it. it's gonna be work. Okay, I don't want to see. It. So, this week, Leaving Neverland came out, which was the Michael Jackson documentary. And there's two men, James Safechuck and Wade Robson, that came out. They were one of Michael Jackson's friends, companions, when they were younger. I'd say like tweens up until their late teens. It yeah. seemed. And but Wade um, Robson was seven. Yeah, yeah. And it was it was on on Saturday and Sunday on HBO. It's a really really difficult thing to watch. Yes. Um whether you believe them or not. Yes. It's it's really tricky, but this is like Brexit of the internet. <laughs> In how yeah, it's divided everybody. this has been everybody. super contentious. So, super I know. So, if you're not interested in this conversation, there's timestamps down at the bottom. You could skip forward. You can skip it, yeah. But Maddie and I have been talking about this 
all week because mm-hmm. we did watch it. Yes. And Over two um, nights. Each episode was two hours. Yeah. And there's two parts. So it was four hours of stuff and then an interview. Right. For about another half hour, hour after that. Right. So about With five Oprah! minutes of material. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so over two days well, we watched this. Here, here's the thing. So I, I was... We, we talked about Michael Jackson and our relationship with Michael Jackson that we had growing up. And I read this week uh, an article from somebody who was about our age and said that Michael Jackson, when we were growing up, was ice cream. He was like pizza. He was Disney World. Yeah. Just like the epitome of happiness and joy and fun. Yeah. And excess and celebrity and talent. Yeah. And there was just no topping like, if I could pick whether to meet Santa or Michael Jackson, <laughs> I would pick Michael Jackson. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, he was hands a hero. Down, he, a was, hero. he was like, he was, yeah, yeah, he was kind of the embodiment and icon that represented everything good and positive and nice and friendly and generous yes. and like, and talented. And yes. like, it was just, he was the face that was there all oh the time. Gosh. Everybody freaking loved Michael Jackson. Yeah. You had to dig pretty deep to find people that didn't like him. He was a god. Yeah. A god. And uh, really. I mean, I've talked about this before. What he meant to me personally was pretty massive uh, in this snapshot of time, right? Uh, and like, it was at the point, like, I, I always use this example because it's the best way that I can express it, is that I had panic attacks as a kid where I would shake and my parents had to turn off the lights to try to calm down my senses. And they would put on a video of Michael Jackson that I really liked of him performing live and it's to calm me down. It always worked. Yeah. So it was like, this year was massively important yeah. Yeah. To, to a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, and even like you think about all the careers that started, how many dancers, how many singers, people that started, like how many people would we not have yeah. now? And then, you know, the fact that he was who he was, everybody grew up with him because yeah. like our parents grew up with him. Yeah. So well, like my parents were fans. Two different generations. Our cousins yeah. were fans. Yeah. So everybody watched. So it was like he was a member of everybody's family. Yeah. So that, everybody watched him from the Jackson Five. So they oh, saw yeah. him grow up. Right. You know? Right. Like, so. Yeah. And get more and more talented. Yeah. And it was unbelievable. Like you can't deny the man's talent and the man's star power. No. And, you know, there's never been anyone it. like him since. No. 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 And and no matter how many how popular any other musicians have yeah. gotten, it hasn't. Right. It hasn't approached that. Right. So take. Take Michael out of this situation for a second, okay? So we're li- you, in the documentary, you're listening to the stories of these two men, and they're both say what they're saying is true, because I know really, like, this is such, like, a controversial topic. So I know everybody who's watching this is probably falling on a different place. So the two of them are very different, being that they're survivors of abuse, if you feel that way. They're in very different stages of their recovery yeah, yeah so wade for example he's he holds himself a little bit better i think they've got a picture of them down he here. kind of reviews things matter of factly yeah, right just kind you can of, even see it in their faces here yeah that's exactly this is it how the repose is right the entire time yes. you have you have one of them this is like that seems like i've been thinking about this for a long time I'm, i've, I've been talked therapy, to them I mean, as he, cla- as he claims he's, he's been through therapies and worked through it for a long time he's really figured out and for the most part he was very even tempered. Yeah. He had did you could you can notice he was doing work. a lot of like discovery even as he talked about right, it. Right, right, right. Which is how this sort of thing works, right? That's how therapy works, talking things through. Mm-hmm. Especially uh because he says at one point towards the end, or at least in the interview, I think that he had never prior to this sat down and walked through the situation with somebody from on a timeline. Yeah, from yeah. From point A through point Z. Yeah. All the way through to where he's sitting there today, and he had never got stepped through it like that. And mm-hmm. it had a lot of epiphanies. Brought, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it, it was it, it was interesting just on a, on a, on the therapy level. If you're even interested in that sort of thing, just like yeah. a study of people that have been through something that was very traumatic at a young age. It's an interesting case study. Oh, it, it and totally it's, is. It's pretty fascinating. That's all I kept thinking about is the case study in this yeah, because it's, yeah. it's 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 so like. But it's also pretty unusual. textual. Oh, I mean, yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. unusual there, but like their reaction it, and like never, never their changes and their like, like how how they describe how they felt at different times and why they did what they did at the time, everything lined up pretty freaking textbook. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. dealing with child abuse. Oh, right, 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 right. And so it's that's part of the reason why a lot of people are very convinced by this. Right, 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 um, right. Especially also based on the fact that when we grew up, everyone knew Michael Jackson was weird. Like I said, he was like he was this huge figure, but everybody knew he was weird. Well, this that's the point. I'm. I'm 
try that that I keep coming back to. Yeah. Because well, like there there is this oh, kind of dissonance. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> there is a kind of dissonance between the two of them because he Wade seems like he's worked through it a little bit. This guy is broken. Yeah. Like safe shot. Yeah. Yeah. He is fresh in this whole process. He's just and starting to deal with any, it, it seems like. And the thing with abuse, particularly child abuse and abuse in general, is that there's a grooming that happens. And I'm sure you've heard that word a zillion times. A lot of you know what it is. Some of you are unfortunate enough to have been a victim of this kind of grooming. It's they said one in where six. Where they are, one yeah, in six. One in six. Yeah. So, so if there's if there's like six thousand people that see this video, one thousand. Yeah. Of the people watching that video statistically. Yeah, yeah. And that's crazy. If, if, if you feel comfortable enough putting your experience in the comments, please do. I'd love to hear. Only if you're comfortable. Only if you're comfortable. But the thing is, the, the, the problem or the difficult thing with abuse is that a lot of times you don't know you're being abused, right? So they feel like Michael loved them. And maybe he did. He yeah. probably did. Yeah, probably did. And even if you think he's completely innocent, you can't deny that he loved these children, right? It's they, just Talking how. about this show, by the, like from the angle, we're kind of talking about just the basic assumption that they are telling the truth. Yes, okay? yes, yes. So when we're when we're go, when we're hitting these topics, we're mostly ha- taking yeah, it from because that I am going to go to the other side. Yes, for, we're going to talk about. I am. I, yeah, yeah. So I don't want you to think that we're completely you know one sided on this kind of thing. But they, if if you're stuck in this cycle of abuse, it takes you a long time to get out. There's a lot of times that you don't even know you're being abused. So they would go to bat for him. They would feel like he loved them. They would feel like they were in a relationship with him. And to a, and to a child, that's really, really difficult to process emotionally. You can't, that you are in a relationship with the grown man who buys you things and all that, you know, but the thing is, if what he did this, what he did was true, if what Michael did was true, then we have all been groomed. Yeah, fans by him. Have been as fans have, we have been groomed, and we're having that reaction as a, as a because whole right now. Because it's like a family member. Yeah, it's like it's imagine, like a loss. Yes, you know? it's a loss where you kind of think like they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't. I have people in my family like this yeah. that feel such a connection to some people. They are such fans of some that they people cannot possibly do any that wrong. They cannot. And you feel like you actually. Right. Actually know them, right, right, right. Like, exactly. and, like none of us do, right? Yeah, we don't. Yeah. We know what we digested the product. Yeah, right. Especially in the time that Michael Jackson was so big, mm-hmm. social media wasn't a thing. Right, right, he, right. The only thing we got to digest Ooh, from him glimpses. was what he put out there yeah, on yeah. TV, on albums, on interviews, very carefully vetted and pruned. Right, right, right. Like there was no raw here. This is actually just a rate. Nobody knew what a conversation and... with him was like. Yeah, yeah. You know? We have all of that. We now. have all we that, have now. that it's access very now. very different. So it, it's, it's a really interesting thing because a lot of these boys, they didn't know the others existed. They, they would come in and then maybe one of them would hit a certain age and they would kind of, there's some distance so would happen. Not the favorite and anymore. then there'd be a new yeah. boy mm-hmm. and all of that kind of thing. So that being said, it feels Then you have a child like, dealing with rejection. Yes. You know? Out of your first relationship, you're in love. You feel responsible. It's like getting dumped, especially because right. it happened for years for some reason. Yeah. Kids, you know? yeah. So it's like being dumped after a very long term relationship, you don't, but only you have the emotional process. maturity of a child. Yeah. You yeah. know, that's, that's so dangerous it, and it can mess up your approach to everything oh for the gosh. rest of your life. It will affect you in ways that you never knew existed and this bottle so james over here is was a bottler because he it took him a long time to realize that this was abuse i'm still i still think that if michael was alive there's a chance that he would go back and stick up for him and things like that i really really do he might, he might. i feel like he's he says that he didn't realize out. yeah he says he didn't even consider what was Maybe happening to him now, as but... abuse even decades later mm-hmm. until wade robson yeah, and then out, went like, went oh public with my it, god. Which was yeah. like kind of like the reason he did it to begin with, right? right. Uh, yeah. And like so, and then it, it resonated with, with Safe Chuck, and he kind of realized that like, like that was actually the moment he told his wife. Yeah, yeah. He just Where kept he said it a like, oh my gosh, then. I think this Cause, is Because, uh, you know, a, me. what they yeah. say in the, in the documentary is that uh, they both say this um, separately, uh, that uh, Michael Jackson told them from a very young age and from very early that if anyone ever found out about what they oh. did, 
together, they would both go to jail for the rest of their lives. Yeah. And he said it a lot. And he said yeah. it over and over. Yeah. Um, so they always felt like they were afraid, afraid to say anything, which is pretty classic grooming for yeah, this sort of thing, yeah. right? Yeah, uh-huh. But uh, it, but it was still... a child, that's But like you mentioned scary. the love thing, right? That yeah. was like... But they also said they felt compelled to stick up for him when he yeah. was in trouble and yeah, save yeah. him. Right. Like they talk like they about... they were the only ones who could save him. Like they knew that they their testimony would keep him from getting in trouble. Right. Wh- yeah. Which, yes, which exactly brings me to, oh, you went right to oh where my, God, my look brain at the was going. Look at that. But so to the people who feel like he is innocent or he's being smeared, the big arguments I'm seeing are when they testified, they suck up for Michael. Yes. Where were the parents? And Robson did it twice. Right. Safe Truck refused to do it the second time. Yeah, yeah. But what Robson did it twice. Um, where were the parents? Yep. Money. Mm-hmm. And the man can't defend himself. Yes. Because he's dead. Because he's dead, yeah. So why, bo- what good is it going to do? Mm-hmm. And because of that, they must only want money. Yeah. Right. I think the first easiest, I'm sorry, you were about to say No, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The easiest one for me to just be like, I can't roll with that at all, is he's not alive to defend himself. Uh, yeah, because he's I'm dead not, so that uh, I don't think that freaking matters because if what he did is true then that is kind of saying that the victims don't deserve to to be heard to or, be heard or to yeah. get this off their chest or to heal essentially mm-hmm. right they have to just take it to their graves because yeah. Michael Jackson can't defend himself right 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 and I feel like I'm kind of more concerned with the people who are still alive there's a lot of people that come out about abuse after the abuser has died. Yes. Well, we were also mentioned they that they then feel they could say something. Yeah. You know, especially because they, they don't feel like they would be threatened by yes, them. Yes. Yes. Their power's gone. But yeah. in this case, it was, it was interesting because it was more like the fact that they don't feel like he needs protecting anymore. Mm. Cause he like, they were trying to keep him from going to jail cause they knew he wouldn't survive jail and that it would just be cruel to him. And there's yeah. no way. Yeah. I mean, he was so frail. Now we're just protecting the a legacy. There. Yeah. And then yeah. It's, so it's like, now it's like, all right, it's my turn to finally get this off my chest. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so that's the way I see that personally. Yeah. I know there's other viewpoints to this. And, yeah. You know, and everyone's viewpoints are valid here. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's just that's the way I feel personally. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I think as far as the parents, where were the parents? And they talked to the mothers of these two. And Safe Chuck over here or, and Wade, their, both of their relationships with their dads mm. were ruined through this whole experience because mm-hmm. Wade got flown from Australia. He was super talented. He was he was supposed to be a protege, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Same with James. Actually, he was like Except a child Wade actually star. did have quite a successful career. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Successful. Yeah. yeah, but you could say, is it because of Michael? Maybe. Yeah, you could say, because he, he did, I think he still did coach him and like, yeah, yeah. Ba- like him mentor and, him, you yeah. know, so and he, really, and he really got his name out there to begin with because I mean, you know, he's an extremely talented dude. He's There's a lot of other talented. extremely talented dudes that don't get that break yeah. when you know Michael Jackson, it helps. Right, right, right. You know, right. so, so know. yeah, who knows if he would be as talented or as as popular if he would have got like the chance to choreograph in sync, you know, right, right, if, right. if he didn't have that um, yeah. early. You yeah, know? definitely. That brings us to like, where are the parents? But they talk to the moms in the documentary and it feels like the moms were groomed also. He developed close relationships with the moms. They, he developed a, like, they developed a maternal relationship with him almost, where they were with the safe chucks over here, like, his mom would, like, cook Michael dinner. Yeah. And they were He would come to their house home. and stay there. He would stay he would, like, and sleep like, over. And, and a lot of people, you know, know, it's kind of, um, it's, it's popular knowledge that Michael Jackson essentially did not have a childhood, right? Oh, he had yeah, a stage yeah. dad. A lot of, oh, a lot of people like a slave say that. Driver. Yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. he uh, didn't. This was, you know, a lot of the outlet of that he would go into like this. They this say, of course, he wanted to hang around children. And he, didn't and he just have a wanted childhood. to be, yeah, and he just wanted to be like act like he had a normal life for a minute. He wanted to play, you yeah, know, play house for. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, these these kids were happy to oblige. He was like yeah, their he's hero. Jackson. He's Michael Jackson. You want to come to my house? Like, yeah. Can you imagine? Like, can you imagine if Michael Jackson came to your house? Oh my God! Like, yeah, you would just be like, would, yes, yeah, come right in. What can I get you? you I will go drive across right. the country to get you whatever you need right yeah. now. I'll bring it right back. Yeah, he bought them all kinds of stuff, houses. Yeah. All kinds of things. So I understand why the parents would. I mean, I, it's easy for for somebody to say, I feel, for somebody to say, like, oh, I wouldn't let my child sleep in a room with yeah, a grown right. man and or whatever. Mostly the internet is saying you know, and, and I'm saying that too. I would never let my yes. child sleep in a, in a room with a grown that. man, no matter sure. who. Yeah. But I think a lot of people do. 
Although the just the slow grooming process, because they a lot of them start off saying, no, absolutely not. No, yeah. you have to stay with me. Yeah. That's their first Yeah, over thing. a long period of time, you earned their trust. Yes. Yeah. And then they went like, all right, I know what they're doing. They're not doing anything. They're just playing video games. They're just whatever, yeah. you know. And then you get so, to the denial stage. Yes, when, yes. When the science starts So it's up. all part of, of the cycle. I get that. But what do you think about the argument about them just being out for money? That's a tough one for a few reasons. First off, we we haven't seen everyone. Whenever anybody talks about this, they only talk about Robson. Yeah, yeah, that's and they, true. And they talk about he brought a suit against the estate. Oh, right, right, right. Um, and his and that was that was that's, thrown out. I think that was thrown out. Yeah, and that's tough to defend, right? Yeah. And then and then say it's not about money, right? If you brought a suit, his his claim there is because he went to uh, he wanted to bring because uh, because he testified. Um, oh, oh, oh! By his, you know, uh, what he, how he feels, how he explains it. He testified. He lied on the stand twice, and he wanted to get on the stand so that he could kind of reconcile that and tell the truth on the stand. Right. Um, in front of everybody, in front of a court of law, and for himself to be like, I'm making up for it. I am like, I yeah, I'm making up for it right now because these guys both talk about, especially Robson at this point. Talks about he thinks about the other kids that came that forward, he helped like Gavin. Yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, he uh, helped there's... get him get Michael. Like, yeah, the kids not that guilty. came forward and tried to talk. Yeah, they went there and defended Michael so that they didn't get their justice and they weren't able to be heard and they could be called liars. Yeah, and they have a lot of guilt for that. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I, I, that's Robson wants to get out there really publicly and be like, oh my god, I need to set this freaking record straight. Yeah, and then a safe I need to get on a stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and safe Chuck, although they're not getting paid for this documentary, yeah. right? So that is the only situation where Robson was looking for money and got thrown out. So he's not getting paid for this. Right. So I, I have a really hard time with that argument. It is a really easy well, argument to make because that's the same argument they've been making for every single one of these situations that's every true. time. It's, all about it's money entirely and... possible that they've all been true. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's possible. Yeah. The and and also as far as going on the stand goes and everything, because that was the other, you know, thing that people are saying is that they testified there was an investigation, blah, blah, blah. Their testimony, they're saying the FBI found nothing. A lot of that case relied on their testimony. Yes. And from what their explanation is of their timeline and where they were in their relationship with Michael is that they were still in that cycle of abuse mm -hmm. and they still did not feel like what they went through was abuse. Mm -hmm. And they still didn't, they still loved him. They were defending him. They were so they were defending whatever you want, and yeah. they thought it was okay. And it wasn't until all these years later, and both of them coincidentally had boys, had mm -hmm. had little boys. They both got married, mm -hmm. had a boy. Their son reached the age yes. that they came to when I mean, he when they when, were yeah when, when they, they met, met Michael, Michael yeah and they and their wheels started turning and they started having images of what was going on. It's not a repressed memory type situation for what they're saying, although that is a very real thing. Yes. And um, should be taken seriously. No, but neither seriously. one of them claims repressed memory. Both no. of them claim to remember this stuff very clearly. Yeah. And that they always did. Right. And there was never a moment that they didn't know it was happening. They just, yeah. it, it's, they, they didn't thought know it was, was abuse. Yes. Yeah. They thought it was an act of love. Because the whole thing was cradled do, in that feeling and that, that, like, that, that speech. Like, right. everything was about love. This is all about love. Love, mm -hmm. love, love. And he was such like a, a loving personality yeah. that it, that wasn't like the only thing yeah. that their that relationship take away. was. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was a loving person. Yes. That yes. doesn't. All of this doesn't mean that Michael Jackson wasn't a, a loving person and had love for the world and had love for music and all that kind of thing. Yeah. It, it, it's it's this crazy slice. Yeah. But so, <laughs> all this being said, I, we, we've been going back and forth with this all week, having yeah. conversations about it and everything, and. We both, when I finished it, it I was like devastated, right? And you went on a Twitter thread and oh my God, the stands, the Michael Jackson stands. Well, there's still people on Twitter. There's people on Twitter straight up just searching for the words of Michael Jackson, finding people that think that they're right. telling the truth and deciding to jump into the thread. Now here's the thing. Look at this. So they checked thirty thousand tweets that use the Michael Jackson hashtag. Okay. Yeah. 33% of the tweets using Leaving Neverland use positive language. Okay. 39 neutral language. 27% negative language. 37% of tweets using Michael Jackson use positive. 38 use neutral. 24 use negative. Look at that divide. 
Yeah. It is a third, yeah, a third, a third. It's just right down the middle. All the way to every, nobody knows how to handle it. So yeah, it. the conversation of this just as it was coming through, yeah, yeah. the air of it was just completely flat. Like there is no, it's not moving the needle either way. No, 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 For no. For everybody that is feeling strongly about one thing, they're mm -hmm. feeling strong about the other. I, I personally, mm, I, I'm always like, I've had so many feelings about this, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, and I know that people have very strong feelings about it. I think it's important to, uh, for one, for one, on one side of the coin, say that none of us are really going to know 100% the truth. Here. No, no, no. Um, so no. if you, if you're that I positive about it. everybody can agree on that, right? That I don't nobody know. That's the way people are talking. Oh, that's, that's people are sure, quick. sure of themselves. Yeah, yeah. You know, so he no matter, never, yeah. no matter what you think about it, you know, we have to leave that little, you know, hanger out there that it's just, we don't really, really know. Uh, no Nobody matter how much we're compelled one way or to another. Yeah. If you weren't in the room. Yeah. Yeah. But the other thing is that like, this is, if you watched it and some of the conversations I have with people, to be frank, clearly didn't watch it even if they said Oh they yeah, yeah. Some because people don't want to see The it. angle they were talking about, the points the they were blinders. bringing up, it's like all this stuff was like in here. Like, mm -hmm. you sure you watched it? Or like, they, like this had nothing to do with that. You sure you watched it? So it was that kind of thing. It's just people really want to get out there and defend. And the people that really want to defend, honestly, uh, I, from in my experience, are trashing this uh, and don't even want to watch it. They just uh, trashing yeah. the existence of it. Oh, sure. And I get it. I was yeah. nervous about watching it, but also knew I had to watch it just because of my history with Michael Jackson. My, you know, like my <laughs> yeah. feelings about it. Yeah. Like I had to watch. Oh my this. god, same. I was obsessed. Um, I was obsessed. But it's like the. My if earliest you, if you memories take out include that, like, Michael yeah, Jackson. If you take yeah. that out of it, you just look at the timeline of the events. Um, their, their stories, their testimony for that long time, not now their legal testimony, like their, their testimony in the documentary. Um, it fits very well There's, into the situation. Like it just, it actually follows with how these things tend to go. And, and they- With this wrinkle of a magnificently popular right, figure involved. Right, there, you know? there's, there's a pattern. Yes. That, and, it, and every, like you started to say this earlier, like, growing up and watching him like everybody knew he was weird yeah and nobody was really it's like why is he getting whiter okay and yeah. now he's hanging out with like little boys okay oh what's going on with his nose yeah and like, he never what? denied actually like as spending you know staying in bed with little boys right, right, right. a lot yeah like literally every night for uh -huh. years and then yeah it, it every turned, single evening yeah mm -hmm. oh absolutely but it was this kind of underlying you know he was on tabloids and things like that but it was this underlying thing like, yo, like, I think he's kind of weird. Yeah. But nobody, nobody really knew how to feel about it. Nobody knew how to feel about it, really, at least in my experience. And everybody yeah. was like, oh, everybody's just going to keep listening to the. Yeah. Like, oh, he didn't have a childhood. That was always the thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but he like, didn't oh, have a childhood. You know, he, so he's a he child at heart. Time. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And, and then. He, he kind of was. You yeah. Know? Absolutely. And then it, it's just this this pattern of things that, it, you know, it. it I don't know. Like their their stories are similar. A lot of people are saying, "Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence?" In the documentary, they have faxes and they have yeah. There's gifts, evidence. In they there. have that's the other thing. If like you're saying, "Where's the evidence?" You didn't watch doc. Then you didn't watch the documentary. Yeah, yeah. Or it's, some people like at one point everyone talks about the FBI out. report. They and the do, FBI yeah. report wasn't conclusive. Everyone says like they found nothing. They didn't necessarily find nothing. They just f they saw that it on they were two. already indicted and then they were acquitted. So like, okay, case closed. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah, stopped yeah. looking. Right, right, right. You know, it's and also there was some stuff in there that didn't get. That, like it's heavily, heavily redacted. Yeah, if you looked yeah. at it online. Oh, there's and there's like tapes and stuff, and there's like no detail about them. Oh. So it's almost useless yeah, of yeah. a report to try to find out what may or may not have happened here. Right, right, right. That stuff is in a vault. You yeah, know? yeah, that's Basically, true. Basically, if they found anything, it was so yeah. heavily redacted. Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't know. I like, I, you know what? Like, I've been sitting on it for a couple of days. It still makes me feel sick to my stomach. Yeah. And you know what? I had, I have this playlist that I keep on in the kitchen all the time. It's got some 800 songs on it. It's huge. So if I'm making dinner or something, I mostly have this playlist on, and there's a lot of Michael Jackson on it. And Man in the Mirror came on oh. yesterday while I was <laughs> making dinner, and I skipped it. Wow. So I, and without even thinking about it, so I was like, oh, okay, so am I in this space? Is this where I am right now? Because I'm seeing a lot of people say they're going to delete the songs from their playlists. They're going to, boy there's radio stations that are boycotting. Some are. To yeah. each their own. It's a different, everybody's in it's a different a place thing, with it. You know? I'm not saying I'll never listen or I'm going to stop. I, I don't know where I it, it am It becomes yet. another one of those situations of can you separate the art from the artist? Yeah, yeah. Some cases it's this easier to do the, than others, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I don't know. Like, but why it, did it take this for me to really take it? Because I've been groomed. 
because like, well, why did it take a documentary bringing it all back up? Because I was kind of okay with it. Like, well, Michael Jackson was awesome. He was weird. That whole thing was weird. Yeah. But it's like, remember that time when he was accused of like, you yeah, know, do you think he really did yeah. that? I don't and then know. The and then his life was very sad. Yeah. So, but everybody was kind of like in their place with it. You know, yeah. like he had been dead a while. Well, this and is now because it's... they described, you saw what happened to the people. That's what did it to me. Yeah. Because it, it was, it was easy to, to think of that as a snapshot in time. Like, remember that time he had to go on TV and he had the red background behind him and he said, how oh, people yeah. were like, they had to take pictures of me. I don't want to do a yeah, rock impression yeah. of them. <laughs> yeah. But um, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and yeah, then there's yeah, the trials yeah. and the accusations mm -hmm. and the protests. And like, and it's like, you're like, wow, that was a really weird time. Yeah, yeah. And then you see this and you're like, that time this has been their entire real. lives. Yeah, yeah. You know, and like, you see the things that they've actually been dealing with. And like, and what happens when everybody just completely dismisses what they say. Yeah. It's it's rough. I know. It's really rough, especially to save Chuck. Oh my I know, god. I know. That I, dude I, doesn't really know. I mean, he's in the midst of he's like yeah, he's the just bomb beginning going off about it. You know, it, it, it feels so terribly for him watching it. If you have any empathy at all, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just like it's it's yeah. rough. He would have to be a very, very, very good actor. His, his eyes were dilated. You pointed out one time. So yeah, he, so he I think like he, he was, may be medicated. Maybe medicated. Um, I um, don't know. Wade seems okay. He, he seems, seems like he's, he's been dealing both, with it, yeah. When, when they were talking about the parents, where the parents, mm -hmm. both of them say that they are not having very good relationships with their mothers. And they're not sure if they forgive the, yet. Right. Yeah. So th it has affected their relationship with their families and, and yeah. all kinds of things. But, you know, it, as far as them testifying goes, and then we'll move on, I promise. Yeah. As far as them testifying goes, you know, they really, a lot of people are saying they didn't find anything or whatnot. But when you're in that cycle. Yeah. You know, like you really don't think that I don't put much credence on that. I know that's one of the big things that like, well, they testify, they change a the story and it's like, and that all kind of fits yeah. with how it would have gone yeah. if it's true. <laughs> you know, yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah. it's how they would have right. acted like in the midst of the situation. Sure. This is like not even their behavior and the way that they have turned out, like with the changing stories mm -hmm. and the, the, the uh, only coming terms of the decades later and like talking publicly over and over again, saying the opposite yeah. thing. That is not unusual no. at all. Same with, I saw a lot of people saying, why did you keep the jewelry he gave you? That's why not unusual you keep, at all. No, that's not unusual either. No, yeah. this isn't, this like, this is textbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that when, you, when it comes to that, if yeah. you take like the crazy popular figure side out of it, the icon. Sure, sure. Their flow through and this whole thing a, and where they are today is, yeah. is very, very consistent. Yeah. With children who have been through this. Right. So I, I, some people bring that stuff up, and I'm like, man, you're kind of hurting your case there. Yeah, you're yeah. kind of like pointing out why it's it's a, like there's reason to believe them. Yeah, you know, it's it, I know these I know. all feed into it. Right, and right. that's why I end up where I end up. I know not everybody agrees with me. I know a lot of people mm -hmm. don't agree with me. You know, right. Right. and I was very emotional about it on Twitter the first time. No, it was, uh, it was after crazy. I finished watching the first episode, I was kind of reeling. Yeah, yeah. Um, and after sitting on it for a few days, I, I I was able to kind of temper my feelings about it a little bit. But um, and and look at it a little bit bit more like logically and less emotionally. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah. more I did that, the more I started to believe. It. Mm. That's that's where I went. Yeah, the, yeah. The more I took the emotion out of it. Um, mm. So that's just me. Flame away! <laughs> All of this brings us to R. Kelly. <laughs> Let's just break it up a little bit, right into the next. Remember, subject. I said they were a little have while ago. Something between them. Maybe I know. <laughs> But you know what? This is like, this is why I said it's been an emotional week. Yes. It's like, it's been like, I'd like, did you see? This that? is a different kind of emotional though. It is. This it one. is. So, guys, R. Kelly goes. You have to have seen this. Guys. By now. Oh, God. So, R. Kelly, R. Kelly goes on CBS to talk to Gail King. I'm like, what is he doing on TV? Like, who <laughs> thought that this was a good idea? That this would go well? Did his lawyer who suggest this to do would this? Go well? like, uh, I know, I know. I bet he just wanted to defend himself or whatever. Yeah. So, he gets on there and is like the hottest of messes. It's, and uh, he immediately uh, explodes. So, look at this clip that was going around that we, this, we this keep watching. This is something, guys. So, I think the point you're making is. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you have never held anybody against their will. I don't need to. That, Why would I? Well, I'm, I'm, How stupid would it never be held for anybody? R. Kelly with all I've been through in my way, way past to hold somebody, let alone four, five, six, fifty, you said. Why, how stupid would I be to do that? I didn't say you That's were holding. That's stupid, guys. I didn't Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. <laughs> 
Use your common sense. Here we go. Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me Look to, at Gail. with my love it. She's just crazy past and what I've been through? Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement and and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. Stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. I can't help 30 years of my career. Robert. Are y'all trying to kill me? Somebody needs to get in there. You're killing me, man. This is not about music. I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids, and I can't do it. What? Y'all just don't want to believe the truth. You don't want to believe it. At this point, we briefly pause the interview to give Kelly a moment. His publicist helped calm him down. I hope this camera keep going. No, we're going to let the camera keep true. rolling. This is not true. All these women. I'm trying not to laugh. I'm sorry, their guys. And I like... told me we're going to destroy your career. But you Kelly's that? emotions remained raw. Robert. It's real girls out there missing. It's real young girls out there being abducted, being raped. Okay? They're starving they really children in China. On chains. Yeah, right? They really do have chains on their uh, on their wrists and they can't get out. Robert, and they're ending up buried in deep. Robert, we have to have a conversation. Really. I, I don't want you just ranting at the camera. Well, I, think I came here for them to hear me okay, talk. But I need it. help. What kind of help? This is the kind of help I need. Yes, what kind of help? I need somebody to help me not have a big heart. Oh, we're a victim. Because my heart is so big. People betray me and I keep forgiving them. You sound like you're playing the victim here. You sound like R. Kelly. You do. When I listen to you, I'm it does sound the like truth. you're playing the victim. I'm car. just telling the truth. And the reason I'm emotional but Robert, and I apologize you... for that no, is no, because no, this no. is the first time I was able to, to say speak. something. Yeah. I've said nothing. Yeah, so that was uh, memed to freaking hell. I mean, I like I saw like somebody got traded in the NFL today. And they were like, oh, no. they were they were superposing that guy's head on Ke- R. Kelly's body, like you're killing me, man. Oh, like oh it, it was, uh, it's it's been mean to hell. And, and you can watch it as I'm watching this. I'm like, this is gonna be. I mean, holy god. The morning this, this happened, is not going well. I was like, oh no. Yeah, I, I don't know. That was. I just I can't. I I, uh, I don't know, man. That just did not look good. And then and then. He gets arrested right after this interview and gets taken to jail. He's in jail right now because he hasn't played uh, paid child support. Yeah. One hundred and sixty some thousand dollars he owes in so child support. So he got arrested support. again. But you know what the sad thing is? They had on the two women. I think yesterday. I didn't watch the interview though. Who he is supposedly keeping captive, and they defended him. It, it goes back to this uh, yeah. to the Michael Jackson situation. They're yeah. like, we want to be here. We're fine. We love him. We're in a relationship. We're yeah. in a throuple, and we and we love him or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. And then. You know, and I, does anybody believe them? Do any of you believe them? You know, that they, that they, you know? I'm sure a lot of people do. I'm sure a lot of people do. They think that he's. Especially, I hate to say this, R. Kelly fan. Yeah, right? yeah. This is the same story all over again. Yeah. You know, except that in this one, there's for a lot more physical and... evidence of this one. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot more like guys. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, right, like, right. The, the, there's I there's a lot more going on. Like, there's that new video that came out. Oh, God. It's in, like, high def, and they say out loud, like, how old she is. Like, I, I don't know. know. I know. They're probably wearing lapel this mics, just... so you can make sure you hear them really ca- clearly. I know. This, I don't just... know. this is... This was not it's a, a good mess. look. It's a freaking mess. So, but yeah, and that it was had, a rough we, week for R. Kelly. We needed to touch on that. Was it. just a hell of a clip, right? I, I mean, know. Oh my god. I know. Like that. Just did he think that went well? Maybe. But like you said, and like I he, remember. I'm sure it's, there's people that watch that. Big. Like, Listen to how how honest he's being and how genuine he's being. Yeah. I totally believe. Like if you want to believe him, yeah. You're always gonna believe him. Yeah. You and know? you know what? You said something like we. I showed this to you and you watched it. And then you said, if he's like that with Gail King on TV, imagine how he is in private yeah. with people who he sees every day. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's like, you know, with. like, I can't imagine he'd be that, like, crazy, like, violent, like, demanding guy that those victims yeah. said he was. And right. so you watch that, you're like, gee. But some people see passion and they think that that means that they're 
it, that's also truth. Yeah, well, that's that's you like know? that's the you oldest know, trick they of go, the book. Wait though. a minute, yeah, look how say it how louder, so you should is. so you should leave me more. Yeah, yeah like, that's a good point. That's that's yeah, that's yeah. the only. I mean, yeah, right. that's yeah, yeah, that's true. It's that's the first true. line of defense of somebody not telling the truth. Ugh. Honestly, for a lot of people. I mean, if you want to look at it that way. I know. Okay, it's time for the subreddit of the week. Ella, you ready to be frustrated? You ready? You <laughs> what ready? a Even day! You already are? What a what a segment this Choosing is. Choosing beggars. Episode. Choosing beggars. Okay. I decided to just. Good thing we started with Sonic, right? But then we have to watch Game of Thrones. The Game yes, of Thrones then we have the Game trailer. of Thrones trailer. I'm really excited because, yes. well, we'll talk about that yes. later. So this is when somebody wants something for nothing yeah. or very, very little, yeah. right? And they're like, I think you should just give it to me just cause. Yeah. I'm a nice guy, okay. you know, that kind of thing. So a couple of you have actually tweeted this at me and were like, yo, you need to use Choosing Beggars. I haven't seen beggars. this yet at all. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. Do you know that Twitter account for exposure? Yes. Every once in a oh, while, I'll I retweet it. 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 That's this, that's this, oh, that's this. Oh, no. Yes. For exposure that text. you guys oh, ever see that? Oh, oh, it's so frustrating. It is, I just retweeted somebody this week from that because yeah. it was just people like, you should be happy for the exposure. Yeah, you things. should do this for free. Yeah, you should do it for free. So uh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. I tried to give away two harnesses that no longer fit my dog. It didn't go well. Hi, is the harnesses still available? I think someone's coming to pick them up. I'm waiting on a text. We'll let you know if I don't hear back. Okay, but it's for my kid's dog. I already kind of told her she could have it. Ha ha. Why would you do that? Do what? Tell your kid she could have the harnesses because you said they were free. They are free to the first person who wants to come pick them up. Somebody else asked before you. That's not fair. I already told her she could have them for her dog. Look, just, I don't know why you did that, but if I don't hear back from the guy in the next 10 minutes, you could have them, okay? So, seven minutes later. Okay, your daughter could have them. Where do you want to meet? I live at blank. But if you want to do it public, there's a McDonald's nearby. It. Da, da, da. I can meet you in the car park. How am I supposed to get there? Oh, God. I don't know. The advert literally said for someone to collect. I don't have a car. You could come to me or I'll give them to the next person. I don't have time. But I've hurt my ankle and can't drive. Oh my God. I don't have a car. What are you expecting me to do? I'm giving away two dog harnesses for free. If you can't pick them up, then why did you message me? You could get a taxi. Hello, hello. She's crying now. Oh my God. Oh my Can God. Can we all just smash our heads on the keyboard? I'm surprised this person lasted this Yeah, this, this person long. was freaking patient as yeah, hell. I'd be like... Bye. Yeah, I kind of already there told you, Gavin. No Why would you way. do that? <laughs> I know. If somebody is providing you a service, yes. You know, you need to act accordingly. You know what I mean? What is Be this gracious. Boy? My God. You know he's broke when he buys you water. You know you're broke when you depend on someone else to pay for your meal. Oh, snap. <laughs> Oh, was it selling a used iMac for twelve hundred dollars? Do that oh, one. Oh God. Okay. It's <laughs> selling a thinking. used iMac for twelve hundred. Woman asks how low I would sell it for, or if I'd take. Oh my God. No kidding. Okay. okay. What price do you mean how low? The price is firm 1200. I paid 2800 for it originally, so you're getting still a really good deal. I was thinking 8, and I could also give you some jewelry. I make an exchange. <laughs> I'm going to have to pass. Thanks. <laughs> you don't realize how difficult it is That's for a, a single pass. mother. There's a lot of people saying they're single parents in here, oh. single moms or yeah, around Christmas. My kids have been begging for this all year, and now I have to tell them that you let them down. Does it feel good knowing you ruined two kids' Christmases? <laughs> I know it's a crazy concept, but I don't give a <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> <laughs> well, well, oh my gosh. Oh, that's funny. That is pretty funny. Look at, look at these ads I get. All day, I get these like, hey, are you pregnant? You want a new vitamin? How about some some uh, some uh, maternity clothes? $100 surcharge will be applied to any customer that mentions how they could find parts cheaper online. Oh, <laughs> good for you. There good you for go. you, man. You know that one friend that only messages you when they need something. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. You use like Netflix or Hulu or anything? Hulu, why? Just wondering, do you not use Netflix? Used to. Hulu has more of the shows I like. Can I use your Hulu? Please, you would be my best friend. Just do a free trial. I don't have any more emails. <laughs> Gmail is free. Everyone knows that. I don't want to make another email. Can you just let me use yours? No, just go make your own. I don't want to give you my password. Why not? You could change it because it's mine. It's seven dollars a month. Why can't you pay for your own? I got bills. You spend ten ten dollars a day on cigarettes, and you can't afford a seven dollar a month Hulu subscription. Why you gotta be a ace old? <laughs> I didn't know that. Ooh. Oh. The the explosion <laughs> at the end yeah. is, is always like. It's always hey, explosive at the end. Yep. I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. All these teens do is play Fortnite and take drugs. Hold on. Oh, is this right? Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. What the f else? Oh wait. As an employer, why shouldn't I be able to hire teens for free? 
What the F else are they going to do during the summer months? Me hiring them for free and maybe me receiving a stipend from the government means that I'm keeping teens off the street. Oh, Keeps the crime rate service. down and prevents drug addiction in the future. Ah. Oh. These kids are getting experience. I'm oh. educating them out of my pocket. Exposure. Yes, I was fined today for not paying my staff a wage. <laughs> <laughs> and I pissed? Are you kidding? Me? Oh my god. How do people like this exist? I can't stay on this subreddit for that long. Oh no, this no, is, no. It is not recommended. This is a, this is a short hop in and hop out. It is. It is. You know what? I just see it when it's on my timeline. Okay. Or on my front page, rather. Uh, when it's uh, on my front page and uh, I see what it just feels so yucky. It feels gross. There is one yeah. that I saw earlier. I'm sure I could go back and find it, but where somebody, their ex-boyfriend, gave this per OP, gave their Netflix password around to everybody and a bunch of friends were using the ex's password and then somebody actually messages the person says hey i know you broke up with what's his name but can i keep using your netflix i'm in the middle of a show i'm trying to watch something <laughs> and they were like no you can't have like what are you talking about no i didn't even know i'm not now i'm going to change my password and they're like no just renew your netflix like what is so much easier for me to do it it is like, kind of a good point ridiculous. also like you spend 10 bucks a day on cigarettes you can't spend seven bucks yeah! a month on hulu oh my god, I it's know. like god stop acting like you're Yuck. like just tortured and like I poor know. and like can't afford netflix stop being a dick yeah. oh my god Okay, guys, to close us off, uh, we actually watched the Game of Thrones trailer earlier this week because we couldn't wait. We're so excited! So we tried to wait. We got about a day. Yeah. And then we're like, nope, gotta go down and record it right now. <laughs> I don't so think we went, we've ever done that before. No, we've yeah. never done it before. Maybe we should do it more often. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so we watched it, uh, and uh, here's our reaction. Hi, it's uh, not Friday yet. We're not recording the rest of BS on the internet yet, but... It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. And, and we we're impatient. Yeah, we're impatient. We have to watch a Game of Thrones season 8 trailer. So watching it now so that we can put it in the episode later. Yes. Uh, so this is uh, many days oh before God. the BS on the internet episode, but I we have to watch a trailer. I'm so scared. We're, we're going to wait all the way to the weekend to watch this trailer. So wait, six episodes. We couldn't... Yes. Wait, like, Tuesday is trailer day, and we were like, oh my god, it came out. Yeah, so we waited one day, we, and we're like, we I failed. One day. We I need know. to watch it right now. I have to, I know. I'm so worried I'm going to get something spoiled. Yeah. Six. Even just the trailer. I mean, like, yeah. whatever. But six episodes. Six episodes. I think they're all feature length, right? Oh my god. Like oh two my hours god. a piece or something like that. That's, that's the rumor I heard. I don't know. All but right. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Here we go. Oh Season god. eight trailer. Oh my god. I know death. He's got many faces. What is she running for? I look forward to seeing this one. What is she afraid of? Oh my god, of? April freaking 14th, only a little over a month. Of? Oh god! The crap. Everything you did brought you where you are now. Where you belong. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, girl! Oh. So he brought her back. They're coming. Our enemy doesn't tire. Doesn't stop. Oh, man. Doesn't feel. Oh my god. Was oh that was that god. was that horse? Wait, 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 was wait, wait, that wait, wait, wait. that was the Night King, I think. No, nothing, that's it. Oh my god. <sighs> so he brings Daenerys back to Winterfell. Yes. And Arya and Sansa meet the dragons. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. So then Sansa and Tyrion will be back together. Yes. Oh my god! I'm gonna cry through the whole thing. <laughs> like, what am I gonna do? Oh, jeez. I'm gonna be a wreck. Yeah, this is gonna be intense. 
Oh my God. It, you know what? I feel like it's going to break our hearts. Oh yeah. So bad. Yes, it will. It's it's Game of Thrones. And I know, I know, but even like, I can't think of another show off the top of my head, maybe Lost, but not like this. That has like destroyed me, like emotionally destroyed me. Because Game of Thrones- We're not Penny's like, boat. That was not Penny's <laughs> boat! Yes, not Penny's not boat! Not Penny's boat, not I Penny's boat. I know, ah. killed me. But then, but now this, like, you know, The Wire had some moments. I, yeah, The Wire had some moments for sure. Breaking Bad was incredible. Yes, um, But yes. like, I feel like- Oh my God, yes. I am not sure if I can recall a bigger, more anticipated moment in TV than this. That's a good point. Like, can we? That's a good Sopranos point. was I was going to say huge. maybe the end of the Sopranos. Yeah. Um, uh, We're just contradicting ourselves over <laughs> and over again. All our no, I mean, I, I don't I don't know that if that qualifies as bigger. Yeah, that's a good I'm, point. I'm trying to go through ones that were huge. Oh Breaking God. Bad was huge, right? Sopranos was huge. Um, I'm so nervous. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's gonna come down to who they're gonna kill. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's what everybody's thinking and about, right? It, and all anybody wants to do is just kind of theorize over who's gonna live and who's gonna die, who's gonna end up I on know. the throne, how and that's gonna go. Just so you know, do not send or tweet any theories at Maddie <laughs> because he will unleash I, the fury. I am, I am, Quite disappointed, okay? Oh, yeah. That the end <laughs> of what was it? not last season, the season prior, right? I believe so, yeah. The, the finale where yeah. we learned a lot about Jon Snow. Right, right, the, right. That episode uh -huh. read it completely spoiled. Yeah, yeah. Because, it and does. that's when it hit me that like this Game of Thrones subreddit, all it is is crowdsourcing spoilers. Yeah, yeah. Because you get one person out of thousands that figures out one little detail. Yeah. Another person out of thousands that gets one little, it's freaking, tor it's bit torn. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, and then you yeah. get, you end up with a fully featured spoiler yep. solving everything. And they were freaking right. Yeah. So we're watching this episode that should have been blowing my mind. And it was, you know, but should have been blowing my mind way more than it was. Because if I hadn't seeked it out, I never would have known. Yeah. Like the, the, the conclusions in there. Right. And I would have gotten it dished out to me the way that the authors intended it to be. Yep. And it would have been much bigger of a moment. So ever since then, I'm like, oh, yeah. nope. Not reading anything about this stuff. Not yes. going on subreddits. Not going on Don't like any theorize. forums. I'm not going on any websites. I'm not reading about Game of Thrones. Period. Not and, talking about it. And it sucks because I'll go like, well, do you think they're gonna? And he'll be like, ah. Yeah, nope. Yeah, no theories. Stop it. No theories. We're a theoryless oh household. My God. Insane. Insane. It's gonna destroy me. It's gonna destroy me. Yes. Yes. It will. But oh, okay. But it's been so good, and I'm really excited <laughs> for this. Honestly. <laughs> Like I was such anticipation for this. This I is know. this is gonna be it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. And nobody knows it's gonna happen because no. nobody because the books haven't been written yet. No. So everybody is gonna yeah. find out at the same time oh the way god. that this whole thing ends. Oh my god. If something happens to this dragon, so help me. If something happens to Tyrion, so help me. Or Jamie, or Brienne, <laughs> or Gerard, or Daenerys, or Jon Snow, or Arya. Who did I forget? <laughs> everybody who's still alive! Everybody else you have listed alive. is therefore keep ex expendable. Alive. Happily ever after. Yes. Disneyland. Yes, Disneyland. Okay, guys. <gasps> that was that episode of BS on the Internet. I'm so excited for Game of Thrones. Though. I am so excited for Game of Thrones. Too. And we have not, I think we mentioned this before, we have not watched any trailer breakdowns because no. you hate your spoilers. No, we. I think we talked so, about that. Yes, we yes. did. So we have not watched anything. We're just going to take it at face value. That's, that's our plan. Yes, and then we're going to watch the show when it comes out. <laughs> Super complicated. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. if you want to learn anything more about what we talked about today, links are in the description. Yes. And if you like this video, uh -huh. please support us on Patreon. Click like, share, and subscribe. See you next week. Thanks, bye. Bye.